How are we doing? How are you? Um, well, me and Ben are here today at the farm that belongs to JCB. Uh, George, well, George isn't here because uh, George has got to work. <laughs> um, but we're here to look at the agricultural range from JCB. So yeah, telly skid. If you've got, I think you know, hard yards, um, and you know, concrete and whatever, yeah, they're yeah. ideal, aren't they? Um, especially if you can find space because they'll just turn. Well, they turn on the Put sixpence. On they? Yeah. This little load all. Or 52560. Uh, I mean, if you've got low sheds like poultry sheds and poultry stuff like sheds, that, yeah, ideal, sheds. isn't it? Yeah. What would that be? Two and a half tons of six meters, is it? Yeah. Yeah. A nice compact machine. It is, isn't it? Well, very high. Well, yeah. What's that? Just probably seven foot if, at the worst at the Six top. And a half, seven foot at the worst. Yeah. With a, with a hitch as well. So that's quite a capable machine. And in very. Yeah, it's not oh, saying it's wide. narrow, is it? But it's, yeah. you'll get down passageways with it. Yeah, then a little 220, as I said, I, I like this. I think this has got uh, a lot of potential for places which have got maybe more, let's say, traditional historic, buildings. traditional and historic buildings. Traditional so buildings. you can't sort of knock them about um, as low much sheds. as you like the low sheds and that. Ideal. And obviously 420. Yeah. Which, as I said, I just, you know. I really think they've got it right with this. Looks the machine, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks right, and I think it is right. So that's uh, that's really good. And then we've got the 54270 uh, in Agri Pro spec. The and the old Michelin, the, the old Michelin bib, bib loads on. Or bib loads. Yeah. Nice machine. Yeah, it is a nice machine. With a new cab. Yeah, it's got the new cab on it, and yeah. Very nice, and that's just, I think, you you know, uh, jack of all trades really on a farm, this one, isn't it? Yeah. TM420, um, you know, we tried these earlier in the year. Um, I do like these. I really fair do. Fair machine, aren't they? Yeah, it is. They are a fair machine. And, uh, yeah, so, um, but say, plus we've got the chance to look at some of the other stuff. Some's like the 220, which I haven't seen a 220 before, so it's like the smaller brother. Uh, of the uh, 420, so like that. Quite a neat little, uh, neat little machine, is it, isn't it? Do you fit in there? Wow! Well, Hello. Oh Lord, yes. Actually, That's surprisingly really roomy, isn't it? I like that. It's a nice little cab, isn't it? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, so it's a nice. Smells of farm, I forgot what that smell. <laughs> that smells like. Probably had it on the cows, didn't they? It does. Nice, isn't it? Tidy. I'd say if you've got, you know, you've got sort of limited um, space and height in your buildings and small yards, yeah, it's ideal. Nice little size. Very nice. Help ourselves. Help ourselves. Make sure I take that back though, that's got me banking and nasty oil on it. <laughs> Right, so I can't remember how this goes.
feel much different on wheels to tracks or? I'll be honest with you, it is uh, surprisingly stable. I thought there's going to be a lot more. Juddering and. Yeah, yeah, it's not. That's all, like with all skid steers, it's down to confidence. If, you, if you're scared of it. it yeah, yeah, it you're going to throw your bait. If you drive it, it's, you know, um, yeah, it's good. It's good. And as I said, a lot of people prefer tyres just for the yeah. application that they use. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. But no, I do like these. I told you before, I do like these. Now, the other thing is, this one hasn't got the full front guard. No. Which the tracked one had. So the vision at the front is a lot, lot better. Yeah. A lot, lot better visibility. You're not behind bars. No, that's right. Um, but we're just getting in and out, as you say, with these. So much easier. I'll have my keys. You want your keys, do you? I do, yeah. You... Oh, yeah. I plan on going home tonight. Yeah, you can go home in this. I could do. it take me a while. Thank you very much. Pleasure. 4000 series fast track uh, with a loader. It's actually quite a smart loader. I thought it was going to be quite sort of cumbersome, but it's not actually that bad. Um, anyway, let's uh, see what Dino's got to say about it. Right, uh, what do you reckon to this then, Ben? It's a smart bit of kit, isn't it? I can see why old Georgie boy likes them. Um, my first go in one, and I can see the appeal and the attraction to them. Nice, nice, nice size machine, but yet... It's not uh, clumsy, is it? No, 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 and that loader, I mean, you have that, you know... I was surprised by that, actually. You can see it well, it's... With the four-wheel steer, I would think it's quite manoeuvre... Well, it is, it's, it's pretty manoeuvrable. Um, yeah, it'd be a lovely tool, I would think, on straw carting and things like that. Yeah, I wonder what they're like. Sorry, you know, like a new machine like this, but I wonder what it's like once you've had one for a few hours. Well, we know somebody who's uh, had a bit of experience in one, don't we? Yeah, that'll be me, wouldn't it? Uh, this fast track is now done nearly two years for us. It's done over two and a half thousand hours. Um, it does a varied amount of jobs. It does haulage, it does baling. Uh, it does primary cultivations, ploughing, basically anything, anything. Um, it's, you know, it's just as capable in the field as a comparable 220, 240 horsepower tractor. Uh, I mean, the things I love about it, it's got a massive wide cab on it, really got loads of space. You've got a a seat that you can turn like that so you can see behind you nice and easily. I can then stretch my legs out on the floor. Uh, you've got lovely suspension obviously, you've got all-round suspension on it front and rear. Um, you've got integrated auto steer on them now. There's, yeah, there's, a, there's a long list of pluses for them. Uh, obviously the four-wheel steer with multi-mode so you can crab have delayed rear steering, all that sort of thing. I mean, they really are a hell of a tractor. This one has only given us a few small gripes. It's never actually broke down on us. Um, although it adds its, you know, a few little problems, but that's the same as any other modern tractor. Um, they all give problems. So, um, no, I mean, that's, that's, that's my verdict. I mean, I've said, like I say, I've operated this for two and a half thousand hours. Love it. I'd have another one just like that. So, um, yeah, so big thumbs up from me. Uh, and let's have a look at this, this tractor's big brother, the 8000 series. This is uh, a bit bigger, Ben. It is, isn't it? 8000 series. 330. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder how much different that is inside. Cab wise, I think that's much the same cab, isn't it? So is it? Yeah. It's just a big hole. Brute, isn't it? Apparently, these are very popular with the uh, large scale farmers, both in North America, Australia, places yeah. like that. You see, we've got a big back end. Some machines, isn't it, Ben? 
they are. Yeah. So yeah, so basically um, we test obviously our S rain shovels on grass, you know, rye, rye grass, whole crop and obviously may silage all year round yeah. within, you know, within the silage period. But obviously outside that where we can't necessarily test obviously later yeah. throughout the year, yeah. we then move on to our all weather silage clamp behind us, you see. Right. Which then allows us to simulate grass may style behaviour, but also puts the machine under severe stresses and strains right. that you'd expect when you're going into a salvage clamp application. Yeah. So if you want to wander over to the, to the material. So have a look here. So what we do is we effectively uh, drag it all back out again, create ourselves a mound of material. Yeah. And then we can obviously plough through with the 435 or 419. And, clamp. It, you know, I'd say it's, uh, it breaks up and obviously falls through the tines, so it, it kind of acts like a bit, bit like a May silage. Yeah. So obviously as you go up and go down, it never compacts. So you can always, it'll always create, um, so we're looking for, you know, it'll make the machine work harder. Yeah, more resistance. Because, yeah, because it can't obviously compact it, so no. it's always working to its... It's fullest. Yeah, yeah. How well do the cows do on this? <laughs> yeah, cows, yeah. So How well do they do on it? We feed this to the... They bang uh, around. To the, to, ...to the actual Angus cattle, which obviously creates the... You know, the black coat on there. That's, it. Oh, that's yeah. what it is, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I always often wonder that. It's the jumping over the moon, didn't it, as well? Yeah. But uh, but no, as I say before, you know, it, it's it performs really well for us, really. Yeah. Um, so it then allows us to tune transmission, gear, gear shift points, engine tuning as well, and also hydraulic performance as well. So it gives us that ability to be on top of the game. Yeah. Well, what I've concluded from you know you and me both working on there is that neither of us should ever go near a clamp again what? in our lives. What are you saying? <sighs> I've seen worse clamps about. Yeah, but then I, again, I have seen a lot better. To be fair. <laughs> a lot, lot better. A lot better. No, all joking aside, not being silage boys, the machines themselves are very impressed with awesome. that stuff. Is some. That's a bit of a pig to it play. Is, isn't it? it really does make it doesn't it take work. much for it to, to for him to no, dig down, does it? Makes it makes it work. Um, these, I mean, so I mean, I think if you had a day on one, yeah, you get so uh, you get so used to it, yeah, because the power, oh yeah, really controllable. And, so, and the hydraulics are so quick. And if she wants and to start responsive. to scrab in, you just come off a Rip little off bit and she's up and over there. Yeah, and it carries yeah. on up. Really Let it nice. Bite. Yeah, I tell you what, as I said. We ain't the boys to try these. No, no. You, you're proper silage boys and a proper, you know, um, clamp operator. I tell you what, they would love one of these. Yeah, yeah. Really would. Really impressive. So if you knew what you were doing, which we don't. No. Um, don't yeah. pretend to, do we? No, but I just you know, want to see what they go like. Right, right now you've seen uh, all the stuff that we've seen, the telehandlers, uh, the fast tracks, the uh, TM series, skid stairs and these shovels. Um, in the comments below, let us know, out of all those products, what you'd like to see us actually have a more in-depth look at. Yeah. Um, because we've said about, you know, well, we could look at this, we could look at that. There's so many to choose from, so we're going to leave it over to you guys. So in the comments below, 
of all the stuff you've seen us looking at today, say fast tracks, telehandlers, TMs, shovels, shovels skid stairs, all that, you what tell we, us what you want us to go and have a look at. We'll get one of those uh, and have a look at it in depth. We'll get, look at uh, more closely, get Saunders, get on, the Saunders case on the case as well. Yeah. So there we are. Right. I hope you enjoyed it. We certainly have enjoyed ourselves today. It's been a lovely day. Yeah. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Tidy. Do well. <laughs>